Quetzal, The Cat Who Composed, by Wesley Newman and illustrated by Amy June Bates. Quetzal, The Cat Who Composed. We're going to go over one vocabulary word before we get into the book because it's going to be coming up a lot so you'll know and better understand what it means. We're going to go over composed. Composed means to put something together like a song or a poem. Throughout the book, you're going to see that both Quetzal and Moshi compose music. Moshi Kotel lived in the middle of a noisy building, in the middle of a noisy street, in the middle of a noisy city. But Moshi didn't mind. Everything he heard was music to his ears. Moshi was a composer. Every morning, he composed himself by sitting very still. He listened outside himself and listened inside himself, just like his teacher had taught him when he was a little boy. When he was done listening, Moshi turned all the wonderful sounds he heard into beautiful music. When Moshi was finished working for the day, he went out for an afternoon walk to listen to the sounds of the city. One particular day, he turned a corner and heard a sound he had never heard on the street before. It was a small sound. It was a sad sound. It was a... What do you think it could be? Little Kitzel, Moshi cried. He often used Yiddish words when he was nervous or excited. Come, little Kitzel, he said, scooping up the black and white kitten. I will take you home and we will make beautiful music together. The next morning, Moshi moved a stack of music off the top of the piano and set Kitzel down. You must listen outside yourself and inside yourself, he instructed as he began to play. Kitzel kept very still. The music started off slowly and softly but then grew louder and faster, reminding of Kitzel of crowds of people rushing by her, almost trampling her, and she meowed in fright. Moshi stopped playing, picked up little Kitzel, and looked into her big green eyes. Ah, Kitzel, I see that music stirs your soul, he said, and that is a wonderful thing. One day, a letter from Moshi arrived in the mail. The Paris New Music Review is having a contest, Moshi read aloud to Kitzel. Each composition must be no longer than 60 seconds. Moshi blinked in disbelief. 60 seconds? Impossible. How can anyone create a beautiful composition in only 60 seconds? He asked Kitzel and put the letter aside. Here is our second vocabulary word, composition. A composition is a work of literature, art, or music. In this case, the composition is a work of music. The next day, when Moshi sat down to play his, to play, his fingers fumbled over the keys. Fumbled is our last vocabulary word. Fumble means to use hands clumsily while working or doing something. As you can see, Moshi fumbled his hands over the keyboard, not creating what he wanted. He kept glancing at the letter from the Paris New Music Review. Finally, he decided to give it a try. He wrote a few notes, and then a few more, and then a few more. Before he knew it, his composition was ten minutes long. Impossible, Moshi said. Time passed and Moshi grew more and more unhappy. One day, he did not even come to the piano at all. Quetzal stared at him and as he stared out the window. Quetzal didn't know if he was listening outside himself or listening inside himself. Perhaps he was not listening at all. Moshi looked at the letter announcing the contest again and Quetzal looked at it too. She knew it was the source of all Moshi's unhappiness. Maybe if she got rid of it, Moshi would be happy again. She put one six-toed paw down on the keyboard, crept across the keys, 
and then pushed off the piano with all four paws and landed on the table where the letter lie. Moshi whipped around. Ketzel, that was magnificent, he cried. Moshi grabbed a pencil and jotted down exactly what he had heard. He played it several times and then turned to Ketzel. Your composition has a clear beginning, middle, and end. It's full of heart and takes exactly 21 seconds to play. Ketzel, you're a genius. Moshi folded up Ketzel's composition and wrote a note to the judges. This piano solo, piece for piano, four paws, was written by Kitzel Cotone. It is her first composition. She hopes you enjoy it. Then he and Kitzel walked to the mail and dropped it off. Time passed and Moshi and Kitzel forgot all about the contest. Then one day, a letter had arrived. Dear Kitzel Cotel, we are sorry to inform you that your piano solo did not win first, second, or third place in our competition. However, the judges admired your creative instinct and imagination and have decided to award you with a certificate of special mention. Congratulations. Kitzel, you did it, Moshi cried. He lifted Kitzel in the air and the two composers danced a jig of joy around the room. A few weeks later, Moshi brushed Kitzel's fur until it shone and put his very best suit on. Then they hailed a taxi and rode out to the, corner, the concert hall where Kitzel's piano solo was having its debut. Moshi, carried, Moshi carried Kitzel inside his jacket and sat down in the very last row. When the concert hall darkened, he placed Kitzel on his lap. The music began. Two whole hours went by. Finally, a young girl crossed the stage. I will now play Piece for Piano, Four Paws by Kitzel. Meow. The girl then began again. I will now play Piece for Piano, Four Paws by Kitzel. Meow. Kitzel meowed again at the sound of her own name. As the audience laughed, the house manager flickered on the lights and rushed to the stage. Is there a cat in my theater? He demanded. That is not allowed. Please leave immediately. But this is Kitzel Kotel, the cat who composed f Peace for Piano Four Paws, Moshi said, holding up Kitzel for all to see. A cat who composes? Ridiculous. Ludicrous. Preposterous. Impossible. The judges were called to the stage to confer. There is no rule saying that a cat cannot compose. The head judge announced, Therefore, we invite Kitzel, he paused as she meowed again, to play, to please stay as we all enjoy her prize winning composition. The young pianist took her place with arms stiff and hands held straight over the keys. She leaned forward, pausing for a minute, like a cat getting ready to pounce. And then she played Kitzel's piece. Encore, encore, the audience cried. The girl played Kitzel's composition again. And when she was done, Moshi brought Kitzel up to the stage so that way the composer and the musician could each take a bow. After the concert, Kitzel became very famous. Her picture appeared in many newspapers after the competition was performed all over the world. And one day, another envelope addressed to Kitzel Kotel arrived. It contained a royalty check for $19.72. At the bank, the teller pulled out a stamp pad and Kitzel pressed her front paw into the ink and then placed on the back of the check endorsing it with her six-toed signature. The bank teller counted out Kitzel's money. It brought Kitzel many cans of food, which she thoroughly enjoyed. The end. Kitzel the, Kotel, Kitzel the cat who composed is actually based on a true story.